Hello everybody, welcome to today's video where today we are going to be adding enemies, attack animations, and enemy death animations. So it is going to be a really cool episode. Let's start. So we got our bat entity that I've pulled in. Har a harmful bat entity. And then I have my player here and I've added in attack animations for all of the different directions. So that is all ready. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, going to my bat entity. We're going to add in some of the code from the interactable grass. And then we're just going to modify it. And it's really going to make things much easier for adding our enemies. Since it actually has lots of the same code. So we're going to clean up our blocks. And we want to change this broadcast to new message spawn passive bats. And then when I receive spawn passive bats, I'm also going to take out three of the clone positions. And then with our set animation here, I am going to set the animation to bat fly at the very beginning. So bat fly. I am going to go to my clone position, and this is going to be how the bat spawn. So I'm going to put a forever loop around this. Wait, pick random. 8 to 12 seconds, I'll say. 8 to 12 seconds if you want to add a little bit of variety to it and um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my scroll X and scroll Y variables and I'm going to go to one of the corners of the map just like this and then I'm going to record down these X and Y in our pick randoms which we're going to put in the X and Y positions for our clone position block so for our scroll X I'm going to put negative 300 35 for a scroll y we're going to go negative 235 and then i'm going to record this so we got 325 and 230 and there you go so now it's going to spawn around the entire map just like so it's going to be nice and these are the bats aren't actually going to be harmful this is just the passive bat entity. That's why I said spawn passive bats in my broadcast. And then for our set animation, I'm going to go set animation to bat death, which is this part right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these scripts and I'm going to put them inside of the harmful bat entity. So I'm just going to do this. So now this is all pretty, pretty, um, pretty much ready all I'm going to do here is add in a few scripts to our for since this is a harmful bat entity I'm actually going to change the weight on this to be a bit longer so I'll say 17 to 21 and then I'm gonna take four if then statements that have below in them I'm gonna duplicate them just like that Going to my sensing, I'm going to backdrop of stage. Going to change this stage to a player. And this is going to be X position of player, X position of player, and then to Y position of player. Now you're going to put one X position in the number and one in the blank, just like this. And then I'm going to repeat that pattern with the Y. And then we're going to go to the motion. And we want the X position corresponding to the X position of player and Y position of player in the if-then statements. And this is just going to be how the harmful bat entity follows the player. Then we're going to go to our variables and we're going to grab for change. We're going to make two X's by two and neg two and two of them Y's by once again two and neg two and put them in their corresponding places. So there should be neg two two neg two two if i'm correct and i'm gonna put that there now we want to have a little bit of variety with this all of our bats are facing the exact same direction so i'm going to go to my point and direction here go to my operators and i'm going to make a pick random 90 to neg 90. then i'm going to pull it in to the bat entity and put that inside 
And quickly, I'm just going to change this podcast to spawn harmful bats. And I do realize that you can uh, use the same broadcast for the, both bats, but adds a bit of variety, makes it easier in case you want to add something else. So, um, so now that can happen. And if you don't want to wait uh, this amount of time, then you can just duplicate your clone position block from the forever loop and just click it. And as you can see, they spawn. Just like that. Let's try this again. And there you go, now the bat animations are fixed. Just because of the code and everything. But here's the thing, the, the bats aren't actually facing the player. Like, look at this. So, make sure you have your direction set to left and right. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to say in these X and Y positions here, that motion point towards the player. And because the direction is left or right, either it faces in the player's direction or it doesn't, and it's not going to be um, on an angle or anything, it's straight. Horizontal line type thing. So now let's... Um, so now, here's a problem. The bats cannot be killed by the player. And the player cannot be harmed by the bats. So right now, nothing nothing exciting can happen with the game. But, we're going to change that. Going to our reset player in our player sprite, I'm going to grab an if then. If the mouse is down, then my blocks, we're going to make a block called player attack. My spelling is horrible today, sorry. And I'm just going to drag that over the side here. So in this player attack, I'm going to go to my move player here. In our script here, that is the move this frame. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to move it all the way over into the player attack. Then, I'm going to go to my attack animation here. And I'm going to set this to W attack, just because of the name of the different attacks. So now that that is all done, we're going to create the script that makes the player get harmed. So I'm going to say that when I receive reset player, then forever, if touching the color 0, 185, which is the most common color in the harmful bat entity. That is why that color is used. Then, we want to make a variable, health, for all sprites. And we want if, then, we're going to change the health by negative 1. And then wait one second. And then going to our one grid like clicked here, I'm going to say that we are going to set the health to 5 at the very beginning. So, finally, before we can do a little test here, I'm going to grab a control, wait until, and I want to hide my scroll X and scroll Y, and we're going to wait until animation ended is equal to 1. All right. I'm going to duplicate that and put that in all of the if-then statements for our player attack block. I'm just going to erase this. Just like that. So boom, boom, boom. So I'm going to go 0 0.05. And as you can see, it just played the bat death animation. But here's the thing. If I show my health variable, it's at 5 right now. I'm going to go with my harmful bat entity. As you can see, I touched it with my sword. They didn't actually touch me, but it still hurt me. Why does this happen? Well, that's because we have the detection as a touching color. The blade of the weapon, the little slash right here, is part of the player. So although we are hurting the bat, it still hurts us. So, quick fix to this, we're going to make a variable, player animation, for the sprite only. 
and we're going to set the player animation to attack or walk slash idle. So, in my player attack script, I'm going to put this in. And then over here in our move player, we're going to put set animation to walk slash idle. And you also want it in the animation key. You don't need to have it here because this is just setting the animation. If that specific key is being pressed, which has already been set, the player animation piece right here has already been set for that. So you don't have to put it in the key W in the move this frame for the player animation. So now we're going to go to our touch and color. We're going to say and equal. And if the player animation is equal to walk slash idle and then the touching color and that is everything so now if i go to my harmful bat entity i click he spawns if i slash it does not actually hurt me we have the attack animation the damage the bat death and the bat following and all of that stuff um if you guys enjoyed today's video then please like and subscribe this took longer than usual so um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.